Greetings all. Welcome back. I hope everybody is enjoying this uh, holiday week. I know I am. Uh, I spent a whole day with my boy doing some shopping and stuff. Temperature here in the Midwest in the 40s. Actually, it's good uh, temperature, nice weather to do something outside, but ironically for me, I still can't do much with the uh, damage to my lower back, my spine. It's it's starting to heal very, very slowly. And I actually wrote a uh, blog, uh, Thank God for Chiropractors, because if it wasn't for my doctors, I would be in a serious doo-doo. But I'm doing better. Thank you for all, your th for all of your thoughts. But for this video, we are going to take a look at another comments corner and it's just basically me commenting on some of the comments on one of the videos that I pick out. I've, I've done this several times before. A lot of you seem to enjoy it. I enjoy commenting on some of the comments and I'm not necessarily picking out any specific comment. But for this one, uh, this, will, uh, this uh, particular comments corner will focus on the last toss cast I did with infinitely Galactic, my partner for all of the podcasts. If you haven't already, please take a look at Infinitely Galactic ch uh, channel. He features the uh, Linux desktop, although he has done a few on Windows. Terrific channel. And uh, uh, IG, as he's called, he is uh, also from uh, Australia. Okay, so Linux Mint 12 versus Windows 7. Let's uh, take a look at some of the comments. Okay, Windows 8 is going to be SHIT. Linux better start doing something with the games. You'll get a lot of community if you do so. Um, a lot of community support, I would happen to agree. Windows 8, I believe Microsoft is planning uh, Windows 8 across all platforms to be the same version. Uh, I, I believe there will be one Windows 8 version for PCs, tablets, uh, Windows 7 phones and probably Xbox Live, I would imagine. So we shall see what happens. Let's see. Games is the only reason I still have one Windows 7 computer. Linux and Mac OS is on the other two. To be quite honest, and I've mentioned this before, I don't really play uh, any games on Linux or Windows PCs. I have my Xbox 360 to handle all, all of my entertainment needs. As far as Mac OS, I was really planning on purchasing one after the holidays with some of the revenue getting uh, I've been getting from the YouTube partnership, but with the situation with my back and the bill, some of the bills I will be getting to help cover some of the cost of treatment, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. It's a bit of a bummer for me because I know at least some of you were have been asking about Mac OS uh, or Mac computers. It is definitely a fair uh, question. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Uh, I do have on the, on the on one of the blogs on the totalostoday.blogspot.com there is a donate uh, button that's hidden there on the on the page. If you scroll down, if if you certainly are in the mood or feel the kindness, feel free to donate. If if I get enough donations to buy a Mac computer, I will certainly do so. But for me to do it on my own at this time, it just is not uh, feasible. Okay, let's see. That Kevin McLeod is a legend. How about a video comparing LXDE versus XFCE? You could put the latest Lubuntu against the latest Xubuntu. Uh, Kevin McLeod uh, runs a website, incompetent.com, uh, royalty-free music. And I've been using, that's where I've been getting a majority lately of my... Uh, uh, Creative Commons music for some of the screencasts that I do. He definitely is a talented man, terrific composer, definitely knows his, his stuff. And if I was uh, filming a movie, I would probably call him for some reasonable rates on a film score. Okay, I'm currently using Arch uh, XMO Nide. Am I saying that right? And And I love it. Tiling VMs are something that hasn't been pushed as much as GNOME or KDE, and while they do have a learning curve due to generally being keyboard-based, the power in not having to manage Windows is a great productivity productivity boost. Yeah, I, uh, seems like this uh, commentator enjoys customizing. That's great. I do not use Arch at all at this time. I don't believe it's the right one for uh, new uh, Windows users trying to try a new Linux 
distribution, but I have heard good things about um, Arch. Okay, let's scroll down. I have Win7 and Mint12 Dual Booth. Both are 64-bit. I installed Mint12 with 1 gig DVD, and it is it has much more complete. It is a much more complete GNOME desktop compared to the newest Ubuntu. Win7 for me is only for modern games. Well, there again, uh, Windows seems to win the platform wars as far as games go. Yeah, I have uh, the 32-bit of Ubuntu Unity in my, one of my laptops. I have Mint 11 64-bit on this particular desktop. I think I'll wait to the next LTS release to fully install Linux Mint 12, though. Uh, let's see. Hey, I am creating a Linux OS uh, base on Ubuntu. I need some ideas what people want on their OS. People have been asking Compiz or GNOME Shell. I cannot use both because GNOME have have a GNOME has a graphical problem, which cannot handle Compiz and GNOME Shell is more like Compiz anyway. And what your favorite apps and what are your favorite apps on a Linux? OS, boy, that's that's a loaded question. I could have a whole uh, screencast related to that, to answering that. What do people want? Well, I can tell you what I want as a Windows dual booter. I want it to work out of the box, ready to go, ready to play all of my music and video files. If you can do that, then I would say you have a winner. Uh, let's see. I am running Ubuntu 11.10 64-bit. I am using Linux all the way. Right now I feel much more secure and it is geared for people who are new to Linux and who came from Windows and hate Windows. I do everything there in Ubuntu. It has been my favorite OS since I started doing computer, or I guess running computers. Uh, yeah, I, I've liked Unity from the start. I don't think a Windows user has to necessarily hate Windows to try dual booting Ubuntu or uh, Linux Mint or Zorin. But hey, if it works, then definitely keep it. I'm dual booting uh, SUSE uh, and Windows 7 and never used any AV, Firewall, UAC, or Windows Defender. Never updated and still don't have problems. The key is that you don't download and click every ad you see on, on the net. I replied, really? Yeah, when it comes to Windows 7, you really should have some kind of a, uh, you know, virus shield. Definitely have the firewall installed, turned on. Uh, certainly watch what you click not just the ads but the websites but if you're running Windows 7 without uh, any uh, protection whatsoever to me that's a major no-no but hey if you haven't had any problems who, who, who am I to say I guess okay the mint menu is in mint 12 because it irritates me that I can't get rid of it and just use the GNOME 3 menu I have it configured so they're both on the same panel bar and I, and I only have the top bar with no bottom bar. <clears throat> Excuse me. I really don't understand why Linux users want everything to look like it did in 2001. It's been 10 years, people. The world has moved past Windows XP and nobody except Linux users want their menus and Windows to look like that anymore. Transparency for the win. I, I just commented sometimes change is difficult. Um, yeah, I, I don't think it's probably productive to live in the past in general, but I, I, you know, as far as operating systems go, whether it's Windows and uh, Linux, I think you should make it, I think you should customize it to the way you want it to look. If it's modern or if you want it to look like Windows XP, I personally don't see anything wrong with that. But, yeah, you really need to move on into the future, as I like to end some of my screencasts. But, uh... I would not have any problem uh, customizing a Linux desktop uh, to look like Windows XP, although, although right now I don't have any reason to. But you know, if if some people like that and feel comfortable, and the software and the uh, applications are up to date, I think that's fine. Thanks, guys. A very informative. Uh, uh, thanks, guys. Very informative for a Linux newbie like myself. You are quite welcome. Well, let's do one more, and then I guess we will end this. We're getting down to the bottom here. Let's see. Indeed, hardware recognition is excellent in Linux Mint. 
Um, I would have to agree as far as hardware recognition goes in Linux Mint, uh, Zorin, and in 11.04 uh, Ubuntu Unity, it's excellent. I haven't tried Ubuntu 11.10 as far as a full install, but yes, I would agree that hardware recognition is excellent in Linux Mint. All right, well, that's it for this comments corner. Uh, regarding Linux Mint 12 versus Windows 7, Toscast 9 podcast with Infinitely Galactic, uh, we don't have a we don't have anything scheduled yet for the next uh, podcast sometime in January. Let us know if you have any ideas. I was thinking maybe we could just do a uh, partner, you know, me and him doing a comments corner together. I'm not sure if that would be informative or entertaining. It might be. Let me know what you think. We don't have any set topics or set dates yet, and uh, I will let you know as soon as we have a set date for the next TOSCast. All right, well, that's it for this screencast for Total OS today. Have a safe holiday week, and as always, I will catch you guys sometime in the future. Ciao.